This is a follow-up video to two previous videos. I, I made a video about a month ago that's been fairly popular dealing with the fact that Microsoft is really, really trying to force you to deal with, um, you know, use a Microsoft account to log in and use your Windows 11 computer. And a lot of people find that really offensive because, you know, you bought the computer as your machine, right? Um, matter of fact, it was all over the news because uh, Elon Musk even was frustrated in uh, talking about this publicly when he bought a computer recently. The video I made about a month ago is popular and that would be my first choice when you first turn on your computer because it gives you an option to you know, bypass the Microsoft account and the network being on a network requirement when you first set up because you never know when Microsoft's going to change how these hacks work. Uh, so what we're doing today, you know, if you're watching this video in the future, this may not work. But I also made another video about a year or so ago in 2022 that had this same basically hack where you just lie to Microsoft. I wanted to update, we can demonstrate it's still working here and I wanted to bring that back up to people. So say you bought the laptop, you connected it to your Wi-Fi, you, know, you turn it on, you connected your Wi-Fi, you're not thinking you're gonna run into this problem and then you get to this screen and you're already on the internet and you say, what do I do, what do I do? And you may panic and you say, I don't wanna use a Microsoft account. Well, as long as Microsoft doesn't turn this off, you'll be surprised how simple this is. This is the easier way to do it, actually. Let's just click on personal use here. And click on the sign in. That's the first place it's going to trick you. Now, when you get to where you have to put in your Microsoft account, just make up, just make something up. I'm going to put no at thinku.com. Well, I spelled that wrong, but it doesn't matter. Just to be ironic, you can put whatever you want there. Put next, put a password. I'm just gonna put in one, two, three, four, five, which again, you can put what you want. Oops, something went wrong. You might think this failed, but just click next. Now it's gonna let you use a local account. And now I'm gonna just put my name in there. And again, you gotta go through uh, all the little hurdles, put you a password in. You can type the same password again to confirm you typed it right. I personally, it's up to you. You may forget your password. You might want to put stuff in here. I find these security questions actually a security hole because if somebody knows you, they know what the answer to that is. So I just put gibberish in these. And one more. This is going to be the last one. And then it's going to let us use Microsoft, I mean, our Windows 11 on a... Uh, local account. Now, you don't have to turn these off. I would do it if I were you. These are basically act Microsoft actions for permission to spy on you more than they already do. Does it keep them from spying on you? No, but it helps. And this might take an extra minute because it's uh, updates, but this is how you can get past the Microsoft account. This works at the time of recording. If you're watching this in the future, I don't know, if, you know, it's not going to, it may not work for all time. And I'll just let it get to the desktop here, but you'll see it's, it's basically very simple. This is actually the easiest bypass. It's easier than my other video. I like the idea of using the other video first because it's the first chance you have when you first turn the computer on because you never know when Microsoft's going to change the, you know, how these things work. But this is the easiest in a non-technical way. If you're not a techie person, you don't want to do the other one, you just want to take a chance on it, this is the simple way. Just put in a fake email and a fake a fake uh, password and it'll let you get through. Uh, I'm sorry this is taking a minute, but I just was going to let you, sh I wanted to hold the video until it gets to the desktop. Just to show you that it does indeed let me get there. Uh, I'm really not happy with how Microsoft is doing this. It's um. Uh, They're really a little bit anti-consumer. And they're doing this even in Windows Professional. This is not the home edition of Windows 11, it's the professional edition, which is surprising to me that they do that. And here you'll see I'm in Windows 11 and I have a local account. So I bypassed it that simple. Will this work in the future? I don't know, but it works right now.